Today we're taking a look at these NBA matches, Washington Wizards vs. Indiana Pacers and New Orleans Pelicans vs. Golden State Warriors, which are happening on Monday, May 3, 2021, and giving you match breakdowns, betting tips and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also. Don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos. So I am going to start off by talking about the Washington Wizards vs. Indiana Pacers match. The Indiana Pacers have been absolutely ravaged by injuries. They got back Damon as Sabinus, but now they have Jakar Sampson and Edmund Sumner, who are questionable for Monday. The Pacers are hanging on there at 30-33, ninth in the Eastern Conference. They are coming off their biggest win of the season, a 57-point blowout win over the Oklahoma City Thunder. The final was 152-95. The Washington Wizards have been on an incredible run over the past month or so. They have won 10 of their last 12 games to improve to 29-35, to 10th in the Eastern Conference. Washington didn't have the best shooting night, making only six three-pointers, but they still almost pulled it out. Russell Westbrook had a huge game with 42 points, 10 rebounds, and 9 assists. Bradley Beal added 29 points while Rui Hachimura chipped in with 18 points. The Wizards come into this game pretty healthy with no major injuries. The Washington Wizards are averaging 115.2 points on 47.3% shooting and allowing 117.7 points on 47% shooting. Bradley Beal is averaging 31 points and 4.7 rebounds while Russell Westbrook is averaging 21.9 points and 11 assists. Rui Hachimura is the third double-digit scorer and Davis Burtons is grabbing three rebounds. The Indiana Pacers are averaging 114.5 points on 47.1% shooting and allowing 114.5 points on 46.7% shooting. Malcolm Brogdon is averaging 21.2 points and 5.3 rebounds while Domantas Sabanis is averaging 20 points and 6.2 assists. Karis Levert is the third double-digit scorer and Doug McDermott is grabbing 3.5 rebounds. If the Indiana Pacers were healthy, they would be challenging for a top 4 or 5 seed in the Eastern Conference. A starting lineup of Malcolm Brogdon, Karis LeVert, TJ Warren, Miles Turner, and Sabanis is formidable. Unfortunately, those five have not been on the floor together all season, this they have struggled at times. They face a Wizards team that is as healthy as it has been all season, and that is clicking on all cylinders. They almost beat a very good Dallas team on the road, despite an off-shooting night. Coming back home, in a game where they can pull closer to the team directly ahead of them in the standings, I don't see the Wizards losing. They are simply the better team right now, take the Wizards to cover. My betting advice for that game is to pick Washington. Now I'm going to be talking about the New Orleans Pelicans vs Golden State Warriors match. The Warriors handled the Rockets easily on Saturday night with a 113-87 win, covering the 9-point spread as favorites. Stephen Curry had 30 points and 5 assists while sidekick Andrew Wiggins chipped in 20 points on 8-14 shooting. The Warriors are 6-4 in their last 10 games. Warriors guard Andrew Wiggins has filled the gap left by injured Klay Thompson this season. Wiggins comes in averaging 18.1 ppg and 4.8 rebounds on an impressive 47.2% shooting. Stephen Curry has supplanted himself into the MVP conversation, leading the NBA with 291 total threes made, 46 more than his counterpart in second. The New Orleans Pelicans rallied late to beat the Minnesota Timberwolves 140-136 in overtime on Saturday night. Up and coming superstar Zion Williamson scored 37 points on 14 to 17 from the field and tied his career high in assists with eight. Lonzo Ball chipped in with a career high 33 points in the comeback win. Zion Williamson is doing his best superhero impression for the Pelicans this year. He's averaging 27 ppg, 7.1 rpg, and a blistering 61% from the field. 
Zion's impressive interior game has allowed Brandon Ingram to fill into his role as a slashing wing while opening up wide open looks to Eric Bledsoe and Lonzo Ball on the perimeter. As a team, New Orleans leads the NBA in offensive rebounds per game with 11.6, and are third in the NBA in total rebounds with 47.1 per game. Offensively, they're fifth in the league with 115.3 points per game and fifth in FG% percent at 48.2. Conversely, on the defensive end, they rank an unimpressive 27th in the NBA with a defensive rating of 113.5. The Golden State Warriors are playing some of their best ball of the season, which includes winning their last five games by an average of 1.8 points while allowing 44.1% shooting from the field. The New Orleans Pelicans have been one of the more inconsistent teams in the league all season long and they're a tough team to get behind overall. This is a big game for both sides in terms of playoff seating, but I have more confidence in the Warriors. My first betting advice for that game is to pick Golden State Warriors. The Warriors are 0-4 ATS in their last four games following a straight-up win and 4-1 ATS in their last five Monday games. The Pelicans are 24-9 ATS in their last 33 Monday games and 4-0 ATS in their last four games overall. The under is 5-2 in Warriors' last seven overall. The over is 40 to 19 in Pelicans last 59 overall. The under is 4 to 1 in the last 5 meetings in New Orleans and 4 to 1 in the last 5 meetings. The New Orleans Pelicans are averaging 115.3 points on 48.2% shooting and allowing 114.9 points on 46.9% shooting. Zion Williamson is averaging 27 points and 7.1 rebounds while Brandon Ingram is averaging 24 points and 5 rebounds. Lonzo Ball is the third double-digit scorer and Eric Bledsoe is dishing 3.7 assists. The New Orleans Pelicans are shooting 35.1% from beyond the arc and 73.2% from the free throw line. The New Orleans Pelicans are allowing 38.2% shooting from deep and are grabbing 47.1 rebounds per game. The Golden State Warriors are averaging 112.9 points on 46.5% shooting and allowing 113.2 points on 45.4% shooting. Stephen Curry is averaging 31.3 points and 5.8 assists while Andrew Wiggins is averaging 18.1 points and 4.8 rebounds. Kelly Uber Jr. is the third double-digit scorer and Jordan Poole is grabbing 1.7 rebounds. The Golden State Warriors are shooting 37.4% from beyond the arc and 77.8% from the free throw line. The Golden State Warriors are allowing 36.5% shooting from deep and are grabbing 42.9 rebounds per game. My second betting advice for that game is to pick over 236.5. Good luck to all of you. That's it for this video. Stay tuned and stay safe for the next betting tips and advice.